Welcome to Unit 3 that is application of multimedia and web technologies. Here we are going to explore into the fascinating world of multimedia and web technologies. This unit is designed to provide students with a comprehensive understanding of how multimedia elements like picture, graphics, audio and video are integrated and utilized in the digital realm. Let's break down the syllabus to ensure clarity and set the stage for an engaging learning experience. Here is the syllabus uh, for unit 3. If you see the topic for this unit, you can find that the syllabus is divided into two main sections. First one is multimedia and second one is web technology that is marked with different colors. The topic in each section will be discussed in detail later but initially I will provide an overview of each topic to understand what will be covered and the depth of understanding we aim to achieve. Initially we talk about the topic on multimedia then we will move on to web technology. When we explore multimedia, the first and most important question that comes to mind is what is multimedia or what is the general definition of multimedia? So what is multimedia? It is the integration of diverse media types like text, audio, video, graphics and animation to convey information or entertainment. In broader sense, we can say multimedia refers to content that uses a combination of different forms of media such as text, audio, video, graphics and animations to convey information or entertain the audience. It is a blend of various elements that are integrated into a single representation or application. Multimedia can be found in various formats including websites, presentations, video games, digital arts, advertising and many more. Its purpose is to engage users through multiple sense providing a richer and more comprehensive experience compared to traditional form of media. From this point forward we will begin to explore and gain a basic understanding of the topics in multimedia one by one which will be discussed in detail later. Let's talk about picture and graphics which are important for multimedia. What is picture? A picture typically refers to a static image such as a photograph or a digital illustration. And what is graphics? Graphics encompass a broader range of visual elements including illustrations, diagrams, chart, graphs, icons, logos and symbol. And what we are going to explore here? We will explore the role of visual elements in multimedia, discussing how images capture attention and convey messages more powerfully than text alone. Another important component of multimedia is audio. What is the general understanding of audio? Audio is all about sound like music, talking or sound effects. In multimedia, it is the stuff you hear like music in a video someone talking in podcast or sound in a game it makes things more interesting and help us feel emotions and understanding what's happening and here the discussion will be based on understanding the impact of sound in multimedia we will examine how audio enhances users engagement and creates immersive experiences Let's talk about video. 
another important component used in multimedia that is video video is all about moving pictures and sound it used to tell stories teach or just entertain you can watch video online on dvd or on tv they are big part of how we communicate and enjoy content in today's digital world in this part we will go for a deep dive into video technology that will show how moving images have become a staple in digital content offering dynamic ways to present information and tell stories next an important topic is digital image and representation that play a vital role in multimedia what is digital image digital images are made of tiny dots called pixels each storing colors and brightness data camera or scanners capture scenes and computers turn this data into pictures it is a cru crucial for photography medical imaging and sharing photos online and in this part we will tackle that technical aspects including how digital images are created stored and manipulated for various multimedia applications another topic is animation and morphing which is also play an important role for multimedia creation now again a question arise in our mind that is what is animation animation in multimedia refers to the process of creating the illusion of motion and change through a rapid display of a sequence of images or frames it involves the manipulation of visual elements to simulate movements often used in movies cartoons video games and interactive presentations and what is morphing morphing on the other hand is a special type of animation technique where one image gradually transform into another image it involves smoothly transitions between two or more images by blending their shape colors and textures Morphing is commonly used for visual effects in movies, character animation, and artistic expression in digital media. And from this part, a student will learn about the creation of animations and the process of morphing, which can transform one image into another, adding a creative twist to visual content. and then come into image formats and let's talk about the another important topic that is image formats in multimedia the choice of image formats is crucial for ensuring efficient storage transmission and display of visual content there are three main types and compressed like TIFF good for printing compressed like jpg smaller file size for web and vector for scalable images like logos and here we will compare different image formats such as jpg png and gif discussing their uses advantages and limitations in future next and last topic from the section of multimedia is multimedia authoring tools multimedia authoring tools are important because they streamline the creation of multimedia content they offer user friendly interfaces and features to integrate various media types efficiently these tools enhance productivity reduce development time and ensure high quality multimedia productions so here i will provide an overview of software and tools used to create multimedia content that will equip students with the skill to produce their own multimedia projects